The title of this podcast is Get Wise to the Untrained Mind. Uh, This podcast is inspired by just doing a well-being practice that allows you to be aware of your thoughts, not to get involved in them, but just be aware of them. As I've said many times before, when I am troubled or going through something where I feel wrong, blamed, uh, I feel shame or guilt, or I'm operating from a place of fear, or my mind is operating from a place of fear, that's the wrong time to listen to my mind because it is always wrong and it always gives bad advice. Uh, and when I, in those times uh, when my mind is is engaged in that kind of behavior, it's, it's uh, when I'm trying to control things, when I think they should be a certain way. And so think about it. You know, if you think that your children, significant other, your coworkers, neighbor, neighbors, government, or life situations should be a certain way, uh, all of these are out of your control. The one thing that's within your control and in my control is me inside. What goes on in here? And so I've learned to put my focus there. When I didn't do that and I wanted things to be different by uh, trying to control them myself and trying to manipulate or change or influence or all those things that I would do, as well as ruminate, obsessive thinking, all those you know, behaviors that only lead to suffering. When I was doing those things, I was struggling. And in turn, that behavior was not only running my life, it was ruining my life. And as I said before, I didn't have a life at all with that kind of behavior. What I had was a struggle. And so I really learned that the the real problem when I'm suffering inside Inside Now, there could be things going on outside, a lot of that's out of my control. But even when I tend to those things, I want to be peaceful as I do so. I want to work on me first before I take any action that engages the outside world in terms of people, life situations. That comes first. That Because any action I take at that point will be intelligent action rooted in inner peace. So the real problem in the past when I would engage in some of this behavior the real, the real problem of taking advice or following the lead of an untrained mind is, is that it's a reflection of my inability and a lack of a commitment to work on me so that I don't need the outside world to be a certain way. I mean, what would life be like if you didn't need the weather to be a certain kind of way for you to enjoy the day? What would it be like if you didn't need people or the situation at work to be a certain way for you to have a great day at work? What would your family at home life be if you didn't need your spouse or your children or your parents to be a certain way for you to be okay inside? All those things I named are completely out of your control. And once I learned that that was the case and that any action, any focus needed to be on me, that was a game changer. As a matter of fact, it, it was a revelation. It was I was so grateful because that was literally something that was in my control. It would take work, but consistently it would add it would add tremendous value to my life, and it has. The key is is staying mindful of this, and to and to stay mindful, the conscious self is training my mind, so I stay in that space. So, just want to share the the title with you one more time and encourage you to get wise to your untrained mind. It is most likely the the, uh, the culprit for any suffering that you're experiencing internally. Mm-hmm.